A judge has issued a scathing review of the St. Louis Circuit Attorney's Office, accusing it of abandoning its duties to prosecute. It's the result of a homicide investigation where prosecutors didn't do their jobs. And it's a Five on Your Side exclusive. The I-Team's Christine Byers got the victim's family response. Family members are still reduced to tears over the death of Randy Moore. <laughs> He's a family person. He loves his children very well. He loves all his family very well. So, sisters, How his sisters brothers. How oh, he loves his sisters. Moore was gunned down on Aldine Avenue in April 2020. St. Louis Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner's office charged Brandon Campbell with murder in February of this year. The I team has learned over the next few months, prosecutors from Gardner's office failed to show up to at least three hearings on the case. Last week, Judge Jason Singenheiser dismissed the case against Campbell, laying the blame on Gardner's office. The court ruling backing that up, stating any resultant threat to public safety is the responsibility of the circuit attorney's office. Randy Moore's family is in shock. I don't know how they let an animal out on the streets. The crime victim's rights statute requires prosecutors to keep families informed. Moore's family says Gardner's office kept them in the dark. Has anyone been in touch with you to tell you at all? At no. all, no. No, no, one. no one. I only found out that he's out today by you guys. Why they're not doing their job? Well, it was so hard to pick up the phone call to let us know what was going on. Circuit Attorney Gardner declined our request for an interview in a statement saying corrective measures are needed to further prevent any future repeat occurrence of the incident in question. The statement also saying prosecutors have refiled murder charges against Campbell and that he's in custody. But St. Louis police tell us Campbell was released from the city jail on Friday. Just hours ago, Gardner's office confirmed he's still at large. So there has been another warrant issued for his arrest, but it starts the process all over again. All over again. Tell me streets. about that. Is refiling charges enough here? No, no that's all. stressful because he can go out of town. He can hide. Y'all have to find him. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like he's going to turn himself in. The I-Team found that about a third of cases the circuit attorney's office presents get dismissed, either by judges or its own prosecutors. When Kim Gardner took office in 2017, the dismissal rate was nearly 15 percent, according to the city's circuit court. Now it's more than doubled. For a family looking for justice, it's a record that turns their heartbreak into anger. Kim Gardner is a poor excuse for a prosecutor. It's, it's, it's not fair. I know she tried to give... Uh, uh, the black people chances, but on a murder, no, no. For the I-Team, Christine Byers, five on your side. We got late word the family is telling us Kim Gardner reached out to them tonight about the case. State court records show a third of felony cases get dismissed. That's more than double compared to St. Louis, Jefferson, and St. Charles counties. For many more details on this story, go to KSTK.com and look for Christine's article. If you have a tip for the Five on Your Side I-Team, call us at 314-444-5231 or email fiveonyourside at ksdk.com. All calls and correspondence will be kept confidential.